Lee Jung-hee is one of the most respected and recognized embroiders in Korea. Some are surprised to learn that a major challenge for this standout figure in the craft that requires tremendous patience and attention to detail comes from her physical disability. Her Lee jung Yun went to meet up with the award-winning artist. A traditional royal embroidery exhibition is on display here in Jeongup, Jeollabukdu province. The works were made by Lee Jung-hee, the only disabled Korean artist practicing embroidery and the winner of the Presidential Award for Disabled People in Arts and Culture in 2013. The artist not only aims to promote the beauty of Korean embroidery through her artwork, but also hopes to inspire other disabled people and encourage them to uncover their potential. Lee Jung-hee, who contracted polio as a child, learned to overcome her physical disability when she started traditional Korean embroidery at 17 and has since devoted the last 36 years of her life to the craft. Embroidery really helped me get over my disability because when I'm absorbed in my work, I actually forget all about it. I also get a sense of pride knowing I'm keeping Korean tradition alive. The exhibition showcases around 40 pieces of embroidery, including a harot, or a Korean traditional wedding dress that took a whole year to make, and a traditional bedside lantern designed to go alongside modern furniture. The exhibition, with pieces ranging from fashion accessories to wall paintings, will run until October 20th at Jeongup Art Museum. Lee Jung-yeon, Arirang News, Jeongup.